you can spend your whole life working and creating a reputation and you could lose it in one second by not being true to who you are and behaving in an ethical manner. So one has to be true to oneself and to one's belief always. I grew up in the western part of Trinidad and Tobago in Shorelands. Three sisters, two brothers. Very happy childhood. Came from a very happy home. Without a doubt, when it came to my business life, my father, Dr. Anthony Sapka, was my greatest influencer. For as long as I knew myself, I always wanted to join the family business. Now, in joining the family business, it wasn't as though I stepped into a managerial position. The first job I had was actually selling off of a van. And I did that for, for some time. And then I graduated to being the supervisor of a food factory. Then I managed that factory. And then I moved on to manage standard distributors. So, you could say that I started from the very bottom and worked myself up with, through the organization. Having that sense of future about what you're doing, but also recognizing that the current matters, um, ensuring that you do things with a great sense of integrity in everything that you do, never tolerating mediocrity. You can always strive for better things and cherish and value people they will always be your strength. So those are four things that I think um, speak to Norman and what has made him successful. Some of the highlights in my working career would be when I became the CEO of Ansel McCall in 1996, 24 years ago. Um, that was maybe the largest stepping stone. Prior to that, achieving certain goals, traveling to Japan, Pitching to win the Honda distributorship and winning it was a, was a big win for me. Purchasing the brewery in Grenada. The qualities that have made him successful are numerous. He is, he's got an incredible business acumen. He understands commerce very well. He is very thorough. He works extremely hard. He has got faultless ethics and morals in the way he conducts his business. He is a very good leader um, and able to get the best out of people. I do try to inspire. My job is to set the big arrow, encourage our people to fulfill that dream, to dream with them. Norman's impact has been significant. If I could pick one example, the Anthony N. Sabka Caribbean Awards of Excellence. It helps to create in the Caribbean a different sense of, of heroes. One of the philosophies of the Anson McCall Foundation is giving to organizations that help other people. His, their philanthropic work has been outstanding from schools at the university to the annual awards. Um, they have a very, very strong sense of community purpose and nation building. The amount of opportunity that they have created for people's careers, etc., is, is phenomenal. Nobody, but nobody, can run an organization that is as large as ours by themselves. I have the privilege of leading it, but I lean very, very heavily on the executives in the organization to, um, to take it forward. I have an extremely loving wife, four fabulous sons, a wonderful daughter, and grandchildren. So my life is right now is in total harmony in terms of my work and my family life. So I think I have achieved what I would like to have achieved. Does that mean that I would not like to achieve more? The answer is no. I do believe there's a lot more that I can do.